Hello. Oh my God. This is actually very annoying to me and I hate to start a video this way, but a couple of my files got corrupt. So I will be filming this in real time. <laughs> I actually filmed it back in July, this clip, um, but it was corrupt. This and another clip from one of the first times that I started talking about this. I'll just come on now <laughs> and let you guys know kind of how this journey started for me. Every year, TJ and I pretty much are like, no, not kids yet. No, not kids yet. No, not kids yet. No, not kids yet. And <laughs> we kind of just like sat down and we were like, okay, we are both on the same page with this, but what happens if in like five years, we're both like, wait, we want to have kids but like I'm old as hell in geriatric pregnancy and we don't have that opportunity so we were like we need to either freeze eggs make embryos whatever we think works for us in this moment and we decided that we wanted to make the embryos just because it's like do it all now we'll know how many we will have and that kind of just gives us more peace of mind than just like eggs on ice because you never really know even if you have like 20 eggs there's the possibility you might not even get a single embryo so doing the embryos allows us to know like how many viable embryos we will have i am not doing ivf to get pregnant i am doing it specifically to put them on ice <laughs> um so sorry if the title lets anybody down but we are going to be freezing them but i did want to document the experience because i think that for me personally like i think it's interesting i had no idea about any of this process until i did it and um um, I just thought it would be fun to capture it all. So that's kind of the journey that I'm starting on. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I will be separating it into two different parts today and tomorrow. You'll literally get it the next day. I just cannot edit it on my hard drive. There's no disk space, no matter what I do. I could delete everything off and it would still tell me there's no disk space. I don't know, it's really actually extremely frustrating for me to have to do it this way because I do just want it to like live in one video, but um, it is pretty long regardless. So um, yeah, just stay tuned. I'll do a part one, part two, easy as that. And then I can like <laughs> just deal with it. <laughs> But yeah, the first call that I ever had with my doctor, I had a consultation on July 3rd. So this process for me did start on July 3rd of 2024, but it was simply just a consult to be like, what are you looking to do? Here are all of your options. And it was nice. I didn't have to go into the office or anything. I loved my doctor. She was really, really nice super informative. That's kind of what the consult was like. And then my next appointment was not until the end of July when I got my period. So that is the footage that you will start with. One of the files is corrupt. So when you see me come back dressed like this, just know that's why. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. I'm super excited to share this all with you guys. I hope that it's informative, um, if not entertaining, and obviously feel free to ask any questions. I did it. Got my blood drawn. It's like genetic testing, blood work panels, those kinds of things. So we'll see what comes back with that. Got the ultrasound. This car's waiting and like, quite honestly, that is annoying to me because I want to sit and film, but I also have empathy for someone waiting because that would annoy the sh out of me. First appointment there was simply just taking all my blood, all of my regular panels to make sure all of my blood work looks good for me. And then they send other blood off to do genetic testing to make sure that both TJ and I are good to go. And then they do an ultrasound to make sure that like everything looks good on my ovaries. They measure it. They count the amount of follicles and that's pretty much it for the first appointment. And then basically I just have to go back once I get my period. I call a number. They have like a period hotline that you call on the first flow day of your period. And then they like pretty much get you in immediately to do another ultrasound, do your blood work. And I just have to like wait to hear from my doctor and see what she says. And that's pretty much it. Just wait for all the blood work, wait to make sure that everything's good to go. And then she'll let me know what's going on. This morning, I have to 
go in for a new ultrasound. Last month I got my ultrasound and blood work done to do genetic testing and to just like check out my ovaries to see like what we got going on down there. In my ovaries, I had nine follicles like total. And then she asked me to go off birth control for the month <laughs> to see how things like change if at all. So I have to go back. It's been about a month and I'm getting a new ultrasound to see if anything has changed and then that's pretty much just today's appointment so should be easy should be quick we'll see what happens hopefully there's some more follicles <laughs> it's so crazy like what birth control can do to your body I've been on it for a very long time so it makes sense that there would like obviously be some suppression also I don't think like nine follicles for someone in my age bracket is like terrible but I definitely feel like there's probably some more so we'll see what happens we'll go get that checked out and I will check back in. Appointment is done and we are looking at two more follicles, baby. So I went from nine follicles um, total to 11 follicles. So she's going to have me remain off of my birth control because things are popping up. So I bet by the time that I wind up getting the procedure, there will maybe be more and that's good because then hopefully that means more eggs. That's really all this appointment said and now I just have to wait until I get my next period and then I will call the little magic period hotline and have to go in and they'll check to make sure everything is good to go and that's that it's a lot of waiting around and just like timing up with your period so that's kind of like annoying but obviously that's just how it works <laughs> and now we wait I am the end of my period currently so my next one will probably come at the end of September beginning of October we'll just have to wait and see especially now that I'm not on birth control it could be so random and that's that it is now September 26th. I am on my way to my doctor. I'm going in right now to get my blood work and an ultrasound so that we can start doing this process. And like I said, it does depend on your period. And I just got my period yesterday and I called in and they were like, all right, great. Day two tomorrow, come on in. The thing that sucks is that I'm recording two episodes of Good Influences today and the appointment is at that they gave me was at 9 45 and we record at 10 and so I was like I'm I have to work and I come in earlier and she was like come in at 8 45 and we'll just try to squeeze you in but it's so nuts like everything has to go by like your period and your body so she's like no day two like we have to get you in here that's kind of just the way it is and this is the second time that I've had to be like can we move the podcast but I was just like just start recording without me if you have to obviously this is something that I just have to do otherwise I'd have to wait a whole nother month and next month I'm out of town when I get my period so I just like wouldn't be able to do it and then after that depending on who wins the election you might not be able to do IVF anymore so I was like I need to get in there stat I don't know if I mentioned genetic testing stuff but me and TJ both we tested positive for being carriers of a couple genes but neither of them are the same so we're good and that's it like, they don't do a lot I mean they do a lot doctors do a lot but it's not like super Super invasive or anything like you literally just go get an ultrasound see what you got going inside your body do genetic testing get blood work done to make sure you're good and you're good to go at least in my case obviously everybody's different I went from having nine follicles um, on birth control to having 11 so I'll be interested if any more showed up in the last month I will say though I don't like the feeling of the ultrasound when they're trying to find my ovaries it's not pleasant it doesn't hurt but it's just like oh it feels so weird like knowing something's inside your body like that I'm like I don't want to know <laughs> all right well let's go find out it's 804 it's gonna take me 27 minutes to get there I had to get this this morning it's so nice in the morning in LA this is terrible lighting um holy shit. this is what I have to do every time just got my blood done all right my doctor says she thinks that I'm gonna be good to start everything tonight. Like, shoot up tonight. I have to 
come back later to go to the pharmacy to get the actual medication. The pharmacist wasn't in yet and we have to record the podcast. So I don't have like time to sit around and wait. So I'm just gonna have to come back after, which is kind of annoying, but I'm not gonna complain. It says I'm gonna be six minutes late. So honestly, better than I thought. And that makes me feel better. I felt really bad, but now I don't feel that bad. <laughs> Plus it normally takes them time to set up our thing and we don't start recording for like 10 minutes after we get there anyway. So they took my blood and based on what my blood work says, then I'll be good to start tonight. And with the blood work, I feel like I find out later today. Pretty cool, pretty crazy. And then she said that I'll have a follow-up appointment on Saturday. So things are gonna start to get real. Weird! Oh, weird. TJ went and picked everything up for me because I was babysitting. And this whole bag. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. I have to swallow pills? Oh, no, doxycycline. This is for when I have to get my yeah, operation. You you everything. Yeah, sterile pads. Which ones go in the fridge? Um. It's an 11 minute video. Okay, I'm gonna listen to this. <laughs> I think we've got it all. I am taking Flostim Flost and um, Menopur. Those are the two things I need to inject like every day. And then other medication I got, I don't have to do until day like four or five. And then other stuff is like, there's one last big shot that you do the day before you're going to do the retrieval. And then they gave me also medicine to like an antibiotic to help with that whole thing. They also gave me this thing that I dispose of the needles. And we just watched videos. Um, there's a lot of things that you have to do. We have to like mix stuff. So so let's do that right now. And I feel like the first time, maybe we just do it step by step with the video. Basically what you're gonna do is, one of these is a liquid, one of them is a powder, and you take one, the liquid, put it in the powder, mix it up. But I have to do it two times. Once I mix it, take it out, then I put it into another powder, take it out, then I inject. But you also have to like swap the needle. There's a mixing needle and an injecting needle. That's why there are so many needles. <laughs> so I think maybe just watching and doing it the first time will be helpful. Powder, powder. It's weird, it's like in a little cube it looks like. Okay, and then I use one of these. This is done, this is extra. Oh God, I'm like nervous. I just don't wanna fuck it up. One vial of Manipure, 75 units. Additional vials will be used if your dose is greater than 75 units. One syringe. This one already has a needle on it. This is what you use to mix. And this is to inject. Yes, to inject. Check that the Manipure diluent is clear and colorless. Do not use if the solution is cloudy, discolored, or contains particles. That's the diluent. Wanna do one? The top of the Nick virus. Oh. Don't say that before I'm about to inject myself. Then we swab it up. Swabby. Clean, sterile. Oh, I love the smell of alcohol wipes. You do? Yeah. Remove the wrapping from the syringe and long reconstitution needle. Twist the long reconstitution needle into the syringe. Oh, this is already on it. Carefully pull Make or sure twist off the protected. Take off uh, the needle cap. Draw air. Into the syringe by pulling back the plunger to approximately the one milliliter or one cc marking. Place the vial of diluent on a hard flat surface. Okay, we need to figure out my dosage because this is different. Okay. Which one's the powder? The one that looks like drugs. Hi, Queen. Yeah, we put it in the liquid. Yeah. And then, two oh my God. Powders. I have to do two powders. Okay. I'm juicing you up. Really press on the syringe plunger. This will allow the air to enter the vial, which makes withdrawing the solution easier. Oh, whoa. Without removing the needle, invert the vial and slowly pull back the plunger as far as needed. 
Ooh. Place the vial containing powder on a hard flat surface. Insert the needle through the marked center circle of the rubber stopper into the vial. Slowly inject the sterile diluent into the vial of Menopure powder by pressing down on the syringe plunger. Gently rotate the vial between your fingers until all of it the powder is I, dissolved. I feel like nothing came Do in. Not shake. It doesn't look like there's any liquid in this. <laughs> like there's no liquid in that. <laughs> okay, let's redo it. TJ's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> this is crazy that they make you like do this on your own. Yeah. I forgot to do the air thing. I know, but that's what I did the last time. Maybe that's why I f***ed up. I never did the air thing when I did these. Here's your next creation. Oh. <laughs> why are you standing back? It's not going to squirt out. Mm. It's still not coming out. Yeah, there's nothing in it. What? Doing something wrong. No, we're doing exactly what she says to do. Or one CC marking. There we go. Place you got it. Out. Yeah. Oh whoa. Okay, yeah. Do it upside down. Do it upside down to start. Yeah. I saw what you did. Okay. And then push the air out that way. Phew. Oh my God. It's at one. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're mixing. Now we're cooking. Mixing potions. I can't believe you have to do two. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> Meredith has to come over every day. <laughs> this is like what that lady was talking about. Remember, she was just like, it's hard to get it out. And I was like, how hard could it be? But now I'm like, god damn. Wow, good job. Okay, now we put this back on the needle. Uh -huh. And then twist that needle off the top. Oh, <laughs> and this one goes on. Oh, it's so small. All right, I got one milliliter of juice for you. Where do I do it? Next to your belly button. You do it in your stomach. You can go in straight 90 degrees. You pull out two inches of flub. <laughs> you can. Like anywhere? Close to the belly button. Getting it Come on in. Oh, we're just in time. <laughs> Look at some time for the big show. If you're sitting, you can go in 90 degrees. If you're standing, you have to go in 45. And you want to grab the fat yeah, and go no. straight in. You're gonna watch? Sure. Okay. One, two. Oh, oh my god, that's so easy. Oh god. 15 pounds Oh, f that. We're trying to figure out. You put it in your red guy. The whole thing? I guess. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that actually hurts a lot. And that one too. Okay, let me see. She easy. said the other one hurts more. The follow stem hurts way worse. Really? I think that medicine feels worse too. Well, here we go. <laughs> Let's do it. One more to do. Oh, no. <laughs> Does this still like help you with allergies? <laughs> We're getting her. Logan said allergy. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. I'm freezing Did my eggs. Say allergy yeah, shot? Yeah. Logan, yeah. Logan said, said allergy shot. Eczema? I was going over. Oh, <laughs> well, I do eczema shots on That's what I was thinking of. Okay, you bring it on. Do you that one yourself or you want me to do sure. it? Sure. Even though you said it hurts <laughs> worse. It does hurt worse. <laughs> like nine days. <laughs> it's. It feels fine now. Yeah. You putting much. in the needle doesn't hurt. You pushing it in. Yeah. Don't like that. Pushing in the me medicine is the Ooh. worst. Yeah. Yuck. Oh, yeah. Do you do Ozempic? <laughs> <laughs> <Not> <laughs> probably. <laughs> Two X speed. <laughs> Wait for five seconds before pulling five the seconds. needle out of the skin. Pull out the BD microfine pen needle and firmly press down on the injection site with a gauze pad. Use the BD microfine pen needle for one injection only. Okay. Did it! Now Yay! You that oh, the that one like stings after. Oh, okay. You did it! Day one! Oh, okay, we did that at 7.30 and it's 9 o'clock right now and I'm already bruised. This was the first injection I ever did. I can't see the other one at all. And you're not supposed to like inject in the same place. But I don't really like know how you how you remember unless you've got a bruise i'm feeling okay so far I do it every night it says on my little calendar that they sent me and then my next appointment is on saturday at some point they'll call me tomorrow and tell me when and that's that how do you feel i'm sorry that you have to go through all this oh it's okay i wish i could do it before you <laughs> good morning 
It is 6.48. It is a Saturday. Paris is freaking out. Yeah, she thinks we're like going on a trip because... This is, we usually leave very early for trips. Yeah, and it's the morning. It's so fucking creepy out. Um, but I have to go get my blood drawn because <laughs> I every other day now have to go to the doctor to do that. And I guess on Saturdays, they were like, the appointments are really early in the morning and I have to be there at 7.20. So luckily there will be no traffic, but we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna get a coffee right now and a little bar so I don't pass out. Not that I think I would. I'm pretty good with blood draws. TJ, however. I passed out once. Yeah. I feel fine. I've done two rounds of shots. I didn't record it last night. Yeah. Do it, yourself. it really is just the pressure of the stuff going in you. The needle, poking yourself with a needle, easy. Easy. You literally barely even feel it. Like when Meredith put it in me, I was like, oh, oh. that? <laughs> like it hurts worse when someone pinches you, but it is the stuff going in. And then when you do it to yourself, it kind of makes it hard because you want to stop so badly, but you got to just like push through. Um, I feel like those epic is like the second one. Yeah, the pen, the Philip Philistrum, I think it's called, something like that. Um, that one is much easier. You can still feel it a little bit, but it's interesting because Meredith said when she did it, the Philistrum was worse than the Metapore, which is crazy because the Metapore, like, I literally want to rip it out. But anyway, we're gonna get a coffee. That's a little update. Yay! <laughs> Seven thousand dollars poorer. One blood vial less in my body, we did it. Now I just wait to hear from her about whatever the heck they were testing my blood for. And she said, I'll find out today. Easy, it's also 7.30. I was in there for 10 minutes. Took us longer to get here than my appointment took, but that's okay. Now we have the whole day. Okay, day three down. I didn't, oh yeah, I am bleeding. <laughs> oh no, that's the first time that one's ever made me bleed. I think it just depends on where it is on my stomach. Look at all this. There is more than I already took. Right? Yeah. And more than you Look at all this. And I had to put needles in there already. Okay. <clears throat> This is one that hurts. Wait, there's more than one? Yeah, this one, literally, the other one looks. <laughs> Good thing I don't have abs. How do people with abs do this? What do you inject into? Your fat in your tummy. But it's like, you can't do the same spot. Oh. Almost done. Baby, can you load up the other one for me? Hey, I'm not bleeding. I did that pretty quick. Four minutes. I'm getting good. This one, Cheryl, is so funny. Face. Yeah, it's like a pen. This one is pretty cool because it has like a cartridge that you put in it that has 900 milliliters. And each dose that she takes is 300. So then I twist this knob to 300 and then she stabs okay. herself. It's this one, right? Here you go. This one's just like a vial like this. Okay. And then I get three uses out of it. I stabbed myself in the finger with a needle the other time. <laughs> Teacher was like, it's okay, it's your own blood. It's true. Because <laughs> I had already used it. Here you go. Thank you. I don't want to do the same spot, but I don't know if it is or not. Easy. This one is easy. Four down. Eight minutes. Another morning, <clears throat> another doctor's appointment. But as you can tell by the way that I sound, I have some stuff happening today. Um, I This is not medication induced. I don't believe. 
TJ was like this last week, lasted a couple days. He's good as gold now, but I unfortunately now have whatever it was he had. It's literally so annoying. I can breathe perfectly fine. <laughs> It's just in the back of like my nasal passage. I can feel it and I don't like it. It's almost like I feel a pressure in my ears. So I've got some sinus stuff happening, but he literally just was so congested last week, was totally fine otherwise. I'm feeling a bit run down. So I think it's just between like hanging with the baby and then that happening in TJ and us traveling. So now I'm gonna take this lithospheric Slay Queen. You're supposed to put it in water, but we just do this. We also just <clears throat> did a nasal rinse and that makes me sound worse because everything's now coming out. Okay, this is what we do. Yum. Then I've just been drinking like green juices. Hopefully these are helping me fight whatever is trying to take over my body. As of right now, I think I am okay. I don't think it's gonna turn into anything worse. I started getting like a little weird feeling in the back of my throat on Saturday. And then I was like, so I've just been kind of doing this since. It will be day five for doing injections. I have to go to the doctor this morning to get an ultrasound and get my blood work done again. Every other day, <laughs> I should probably go. Okay, easy, except I was here for two hours. Yeah. All went well, my follicles are growing. I'm, as of right now, approved to start medication tomorrow depending on what my blood work says. When that comes back today, I had to make another appointment for Thursday. Today's Monday. So that's kind of cool. I don't have to come back for like four days. Well, two. I need to go lay on the couch. I don't feel well. I was there for two hours just waiting. That's crazy. <sighs> okay, we did it. All right, I just got approved to start a new Medi. How fun, how exciting. I also found out that I have been injecting myself incorrectly, <laughs> but not really. It's working, but Garlic? Yep. Do you do the whole thing? It says 250, I guess. 250, yeah, yeah I'll just do the whole thing. Your dose is supposed to be 250? Right. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure. Inject. 250. 250. This is easy, huh? I just have to clean the injection site and put it in. Great. I'm pretty sure. So I start this now, but then I have to start taking it in the morning. They still have a mark from last night and I asked them, it's like red. Oh, what did she say? She was like, it's fine, it's normal. It's right here. And then this is the bruise from the very first night I ever injected, it's still there. That was last Thursday. <laughs> I've been doing it where I grab my skin and insert it and keep it held, but you literally just do this. And then you let it go. You're standing for this one. Oh, yeah. Doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> well, that's good. You figured it out. That's crazy. I wonder if the others will. Okay. Well, a third shot has been added. That one, my skin got like stuck to it. That was weird. Okay. It's nighttime shot time. I'm going to try to do this faster than I did last night. Okay. Last night it was like... I think five minutes to do this one shot and eight minutes total for all of them. But I've really got it down now, I think. Especially when TJ helps. Wash your hands. I did. Thank you for checking. I had like a weird reaction earlier to that new shot that I had to take, but it's gone now. I emailed my doctor. I didn't hear back from her, but I looked it up on Reddit and it said that it's normal. So I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> and this will be the true test if letting go of my skin helps it not hurt as much when it goes in. I try not to show this happening because I feel like YouTube will demonetize me, but I am injecting myself. Nope, hurts just as bad. Maybe worse, honestly. Shit, man, fuck that, fuck that. Okay, ow. 
No blood. Hey, okay, now this one. This one's easy. You put a little cartridge in here, I think we showed you, and then you set this to 300 and then you just push it down. So super, super easy. And even easier because TJ does it for me, my king. Yeah, this one's easy as shit. Hell yeah. Done. One, two, three, four, five. Hell yeah. Six minutes. It's also hurting worse to um, jab it into my skin, which didn't bother me at first. At first it felt like nothing, but now it kind of feels like something. I also have to take prenatal vitamins, two of them. My nighttime routine. <laughs> it's like an after dinner dessert, injecting myself. All right, another day done. We're doing it.